Hi, this is Alexandra at Beetaholic, here to show you how to make a necklace using a Cellini spiral woven focal piece. So you can see here I have about a seven inch section of Cellini spiral that I've woven. And this is a five inch section. And so I have two different sizes of necklace. There's a 17 and a half inch and about a 32 inch total. Um, and so one is up closer than the neck, the other is more mid-torso length. And these are variations on the Cellini spiral, which I just absolutely fell in love with as soon as I saw uh, this design on our site. And I learned from Kat's Beetaholic tutorial how to do this weave. And I saw that her bracelet was the only one featured and I thought we've got to do more with this weave. I, it was love at first sight. So before we begin, I want to show you the different materials and tools that I'm using. I've chosen some Rolo chain of uh, various sizes. This is about a one millimeter and I like this chain for this project because of the strength of it and also the way it just echoes the shape of the beads a bit. So I've chosen some clasps that also echo the spiral of the piece. And let's see, we've got some 8 uh, tohos and 15 tohos. Um, cutters, pliers, and bead snips. So to begin, I want to show you how I tapered this end, which is after my last section of 15s. Oh, and before we begin as well, please do see uh, Kat's video on how to weave the Cellini spiral. Um, she does a great job of, of laying that out. So that's how I learned. Um, so anyway, here we are at the end of our section of 15s, and what I do is continue with the 15 beads to reduce and taper the end. And so I want to demonstrate that on this side. And what it involves is basically uh, two rows of just the 15s, and you'll see how it starts to pull the other sizes together into a shape that tucks nicely into the caps, which lead up to the chain, and it creates a nice, tight, uh, secure, clean transition for the necklace. So I'm just going to continue adding 15s between each of my other sized beads. This is where it starts to look a little awkward at first is where I pull a 15 over an 8 -o. It creates a bit of a gap, but as soon as I start the next layer, you'll see that it pulls together nicely. And also, this is the portion that goes into the cap, so you really don't see it. Um, the size cap that I used it's about a 12 millimeter across. And Beta Holly has a nice selection of caps in different metal tones, different styles. And starting up on my Second round of just 15s. And here's where that 8 gets starts to get covered up in a tiny little pinch here, almost. So I'll continue around. And once I've finished my second row, show you how to further reduce it. All right, I've completed my second row of 15s. 
And what I want to do at this point is skip to every other bead of the raised ones so that it tucks it in even a little more. And I'm going to do two rows like that. So I'm skipping one that I would have gone through. And once I start my second row of this, it will create a nice little raised tube effect that fits it into the cap. So on this end, you can see it creates a bit of a tube there. So I'll finish that up. And once I tie it up, we'll move on to the next step. So I'm gonna go in and put my last bead now. You can see I've created a little bit of a raised tube on this end and I'm making sure to leave the hole large enough so that my chain is gonna fit through. And when you get up to this point, it's a matter of filling in a, a little bit of the gaps where you see, uh, where you see fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie this off now. Come through and do one more for security. There we go. I'm going to snip it. And I've got my two tapered ends. So what I'm ready to do is you can see here I've attached the cap via one of these small size eight uh, toe hose that match the necklace. There's one in there on an eye pin like this. And so I've attached the eye pin inside and I've put a bead on. And we'll do that on the other side. But I've prepared it here so that we can simply lower the chain and the eye pin through the beaded focal. So it comes out on the other side and I've cut a portion of chain about equal to the size of the weave, just a little bit of give. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my stopper bead on there, string on my cap Another bead. You can see it's a little a little loose, but once I fold it up on itself, it straightens right out. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the bead, cap and piece onto the eye pin. And oh, here's another trick I wanted to show you. This chain actually, uh, the links open. So what I could do is finish my wrap, open the chain like a jump ring, and uh, hook it on that way if I wanted. Finish off my wrap. Clip the extra and there's the finished piece. Now I've chosen these caps because I love the, the twisted style, style that also goes with the weave. Um, but if you choose a cap that has open scallops, uh, loops that you can weave into, another great idea would be to weave the cap right on to the piece. So that's another option. So here's two different versions of this necklace. There's the teal twirl and the Tyrian twist. 
These product bundles and all these components and tools are available at betaholic.com. Thanks for watching.